Now I'm going to show you how you can add people to your board. Let's say you are working on a collaborative project that requires uh, different members to be part of this particular board. Um, maybe you have a bridesmaid or maid of honor who's helping you with your wedding planning and you need to assign her certain tasks. You could do that by simply adding that person to this board. And how we do that is we click on the show menu button in the top right corner here. So go ahead and click on that. And you can do this along with me if you have a second screen or if you just want to jump in between tabs, you can work along with, while, with my training so you're getting some hands-on experience on how you're going to do this. So if you click on show menu, you'll see there are certain people that are part of this board. Now what's the difference between team members and non-team members? You create teams within Trello and that becomes your go-to team. So let's say there are certain boards that are always going to have these five people. It's probably better for you to create a team of those five people. Uh, but if there's one-off situations, which in this case it is, you might have a lot of vendors that are collaborating on this board, but you're not going to need them ever again, hopefully, after your first wedding. So then you don't need to create a team for that. But if, if you use a certain group of people on a consistent basis, you're better off creating a team. And I'll go over that uh, towards the later part of the training. For now, let's say we want to add someone who is not a team member. How do you add that person? You just click on add members. Here, you can either select add all team members to this board. So right now, there's one person who's not added to this board. So we can go ahead and select that person. That person gets added and we know he's also a team member. And then you have a few of them that's not a team member. Also, you can just simply type someone's email address. So let's say I wanna type, I don't think he'll be joining my board, but it doesn't hurt in asking, right? So once you have typed up someone's name, you just hit the send button and now they will get an invite to come join this board. And you'll see here, it says invited members. It means that they haven't joined the board yet. They have just been invited to it. Once they accept the invitation, they will show up here as a non-team member. We can also remove members from your board. Let's say you added someone and the project is over. Uh, maybe you just need to work on the board solo now or just this particular team member is no longer part of this project. We can simply remove them by clicking on their name. Every name becomes like a little tile here. And if they have a profile picture, it will show up here. Uh, either ways, you can just simply click on them and you can either change their permissions, view their activity, or in this case, we're going to remove them from the board. And then you'll get a message prompting you, are you sure you want to do this? They will be removed from all cards on this board. Yes, we want to remove them. Uh, let's remove Elon Musk again. I don't know if he's going to show up, so might as well remove him remove from the board and now we are back to who we started with and you will also see here the bunch of other options that we're going to go over and activity that I have done on this board so this activity is something you cannot delete it's just a running counter of everything everyone has done on this board so what did I do what did my team member do I attach something and it just goes on and on and on which is really great because if you are working on a project where other team members are responsible for something you can see their activity and see if they are doing what they are supposed to do if their tasks that they are assigned are being completed so this is how you can keep track of the activity it's almost similar to the Facebook feed on the right hand column which I never look at but it keeps updating itself on somebody shared something somebody liked someone's post so it's almost similar to that uh, if you click on activity you can drill down further into it we are going to go back to see our main menu and that's how you add members to your board before we move on I also want to show you how to create new teams 
add members to those teams and then also assign boards to those teams so what you want to do is up top here in the top right corner you can click on this little plus sign this is also how you can create a new board in this case we're going to create a personal team you cannot create a business team unless you have the business class Trello which is again a paid version and for the most part we don't we're not going to use it so we will be focusing on the personal team let's go ahead and create a personal team you can give this team a name So create a team you can give them a name description is optional and then once you hit enter it's going to bring you to the team's profile here you can create a new board and assign that board to this team uh, we are not going to do that you can edit the team profile if there's a website you can put that uh, any descriptions and then hit save and then this is where you will add members to your team you are always the a member of the team since you're an admin and you have you're the one creating the team and you can change your own role if you wanted to and uh, we can add members by name or email so if i search for my clone here bunty9 let's add him and then you can make that person an admin if you want admins can create cards delete cards and then if you want you can just leave them as normal where they can edit boards but not change the settings so we we'll leave this person as a normal team member not an admin once you're done with that you can also do a few more settings and that's basically changing the team from private to public that's all you're allowed to do if you use slack you can also add it to slack we are going to cover slack in a separate training slack is a tool that is replacing email and is a much better solution to conversations than using email especially in the workplace and then anything else is all going to require you to upgrade to the paid version of Trello and then if you want to go and see what business class is or what is offered in business class you can do that here as you can see it is per month per person is how you pay for business class and we are not going to do that I enjoy the free version and I want to keep it that way you can also change the team profile you can upload a new logo and again you can search for images on your Google Drive or your computer I don't have a Canadian flag yet to put here so we're going to leave this as is and that is how you can create teams now that this team is created if I go back to my board let's see detailed wedding planning here I can change the team members I, and I can change the team if I wanted to